I started in 1969 with simple devices that you put onto an elephant and they bleeped, sent out a radio signal and you could track it down. But we still do that. But with GPS technology, we can now get the collar to receive signals from satellites that will pinpoint that elephant within 10 meters. The team are making important discoveries about elephants' lives and finding new ways of protecting them in the wild. Okay, so she had to break the fence here. But first, you have to put the collar on the elephant, and that's far from easy. Dr. Stephen Chege, a leading vet from the Kenya Wildlife Service, is at the heart of the operation. Yeah, keep on moving. OK, anyway, to watch a pity of Brazil. Just a thin wall of bushes separates Dr. Chege from Esidai, a four-ton bull elephant with just one enormous spear-like tusk. The Save the Elephants team have been watching him for six years, and he's now just coming into his prime. Even though the team know Esidai, they don't know exactly how he'll react. That's it. Can you tell me? Yeah. That in the end, that in everyone. From the moment the dark goes in, the clock is ticking. Esidai has headed into the undergrowth, and they mustn't lose sight of him before he goes down. Where is the animal? Keep on moving. Ian can still see him from the air and guides the team into position. It's in the lager. We've got a fish in the lager, yeah. Yeah, not, very, not very good position. <laughs> Only when Dr. Chege is sure that he's properly anesthetized can the team move. move in. We need to be a little bit fast, guys. The team springs okay, into action. Esadai must only be down for the shortest time possible. Good. Just take up this thing. How long was that? Someone okay. recording anything? Are we just yes. time down, Frank? We went down at five past five. Yeah, please, Sada. someone to record that. Can you write that on the piece? Everyone knows their role. I needed to come back a little bit. David's in charge Sada. of the collar, Sada. but Esidai is lying on the edge of a dry riverbank, and the angle is tricky. Yeah, let's do it, let's do it, guys. The problem is, what is the problem is? Oh, if you rotate, it, this is going very far away. That's the problem. It's, uh, it's cold past here because of the blood vessels. Anesthetized elephants can easily overheat. The water helps keep acid eye cool. Be careful. Don't put it inside. <laughs> okay, just one minute. Blood and tissue samples can tell the team who Esidai's relatives are, perhaps even revealing the identity of his own mother. Of course, we're not waiting for big deal in it. just follow. Don't worry, my boy, we're going to get you up any minute. At last, the collar is on. Everyone else backs off while Dr. Chege administers the antidote to bring him round. I always feel it's a little bit like those people who think they've been zapped by aliens and they come to with this huge alien device around their neck. But actually, it doesn't really bother the elephants at all. It doesn't weigh that much. Uh, after a few days, once they've touched it and felt it, they forget about it completely. Yeah, well done, everybody. He's looking great. I'm excited to see what Esadai brings us. I mean, where's he going to go next? What's happening in this particular bull's life? 